Anyway, they very kindly took to a cattle tea clearing station and they uh, had a look at my leg and said, OK, uh, I could walk. That was the main thing, but I was unfit for duty. And so they put me in a three-quarter tonner and uh, took me to the squadron where uh, I told them what had happened and then they took me through to Tobruk and I was put on the Schlandovery Castle which at that stage was uh, a hospital ship. Uh, very interesting that. Um, it had the big red crosses painted on the side and everything and it took us as I recall about uh, two days to get to Alexandria and in that time we were bombed three times uh, you just heard the alarm bells go and I must admit it was a sister Bust, B-U-I-S-T who was in charge of our ward and amazing elderly lady and the moment that alarm went she was down and they were closing the steel plates over the portholes and uh, they bombed us three times twice they missed us the third time I was talking to one of the officers who came down and he said it was obviously at, obviously uh, obvious at the last moment the pilot had recognized that it was a hospital ship he must have come either from the snout of the thing or the stern because they said uh, fractionally before he dropped his bombs he pulled to one side so the bombs went well off target. The other thing I recall there every evening those people who um, hadn't got stomach wounds were brought around a nice healthy helping of brandy just to put oneself to bed. <laughs> um, I was taken off the ship and to number four South African General Hospital which was on the outskirts of Alexandria uh, run by South Africans, South African nurses and uh, that was really the first time I really saw the beau geste sort of dunes because they were dunes, they were palm trees and it was very pleasant there and uh, uh, I spent a month there. The doctors checked me and uh, whatever was inside, I, I don't think it was a bullet because I've had x-rays then and subsequently. It might be a bit of the seat or a bit of uh, aluminium which has got in and it's still there. They decided not to take it out. They said it would do more damage than, um, than it was worth and that gristle would eventually grow around the thing and it wouldn't disturb me much. It did in later life, <laughs> funnily enough, uh, particularly my late wife, was, I would say she was always very, about 10 minutes late for any appointment. And I'd be waiting and waiting and it used to ache a bit while I would stand around waiting for her. But uh, otherwise it's never really disturbed me. Yeah. Um, I spent a month there, uh, a very rude one this, the man next to me finally finished up on Hartebeersfontein mine, the adjacent mine where I finished up working and uh, I asked him what was wrong with him and he said he was in for a rebore and I said what the hell is that and he said oh I've got piles so that <laughs> they called that a rebore. And the, the nursing sisters, they were South African military nursing services, most of them. They used to have a sort of maroon hat and light, uh, sort of darkish cream uniform. But I know she, this one used to come down with a basket full of wee-wee bottles and just toss them, here we go gathering nuts in May, nuts in May. And uh, they tried to make it very pleasant for us. And uh, a few days before I was due to come out, uh, Billy Herbert's mechanic pitched up and gave me the shocking news that uh, yeah. Billy had been shot down over to Brook and killed. Yeah. Yeah. And um, we were, he was the closest mm -hmm. 
in the squadron and after that I always determined I'd never make a close friend. Yeah, it's yeah. too yeah. too rough when uh, yeah. you go. Anyway, um, <clears throat> I reported to Cairo. I had to do a full medical again. And when I'd finished, I went into the wing commander who was in charge and I said, please, if I've messed up any tests, please let me do it again because I just want to get back to the squadron. And he said, are you serious? And I said, yes, why? He said, it's surprising the number of people who have failed these tests just to stop going back to the war again. Yeah. And uh, I was surprised, that, well, shouldn't have been surprised really because some bods really took a, a real beating. I mean, mine was a minor sort of case, but some of these characters uh, really must have uh, had a very good reason for not. I just wanted to get back to the boys. It, it's uh, one's part of a close-knit group of people right from the OC all the way down to the, the mechanics, the cooks, the lot. Uh, You've got a pride in a squadron, and you, you're, you're glad you belong to that particular squadron. I've never had that sort of camaraderie before, yeah. but um, that's, um, that's basically what happened um, on that occasion.